Hello, and welcome back to Dream Daddy on Playframe. The time has come to date. You keep saying that. It's Again. not time to date. Is it? Well, it's going Look, to be time to date. We have another new message. We d Well, yes, but we're going to be dating after. Right, so the time later will be the time to Fine. date. It's nearly time to date. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Dream Daddy. It's w nearly time to it's date. A, yes, welcome to the episode. We're dating later. <laughs> First exactly. chatting. Exactly. Hey, are you up to anything tonight? Hugo and I are planning to go to the art walk downtown, and we're wondering if you would care to accompany us. Oh. I would normally write a letter longhand, but I've run out of distressed parchment paper. <laughs> Whoa, why can I see Damien and Hugo's chat? Am I a hacker? But I don't even have a hacker alias. The feds are going to bust down my door any minute now. I've got to destroy this computer. Liam, th this is a group chat. Oh, thank goodness. Do either of you guys know how to destroy a computer? You can run Derek's boot and nuke from a startup flash drive, but once you've done that, it's best to physically destroy the platters altogether. Microwave. One you don't want to keep. Um, the Victorians were well-versed in information security. <laughs> Liam, do you want to go see some art or not? Art is good. Let's go see some art. See that art. Let's see that art. See, we're not dating any dads. We're just going to see some art with two. It's true. It's almost like a date, though. Like a group date. Like a group date. I honestly didn't expect there to be this many added scenes in this I edition. I thought it was just going to be like one or two. This but, is great. Yeah, and no, I'm loving it. Damien and Hugo invited me to the monthly art walk in downtown Maple Bay. I've never been to one of these before, so I'm not quite sure what I'm in for. I think I'm here a bit early. I don't see Hugo or Damien around anywhere, and I feel just a little bit uncomfortable standing around among all the fancy art people. Liam? I turn around. It's Joseph? Huh. Joseph, what are you doing here? Oh. Joseph scoffs at me. What am I doing here? How could you ask me that? I'm obviously a huge art... Um... Oh. Appreci... Appreciator? Appreciatist? <laughs> hmm. Oh. Okay, fine. Damien invited me to this art walk thing. I'm guessing <laughs> he invited you too. Yep. Admittedly, a little out of my depth... Admittedly, a little out of my depth here. Oh. Thank God, I thought I was going to be the odd one out. Are you allowed to say that? I was literally just wondering, <laughs> like, oh, geez, the youth pastor, Joseph, is more liberal in his speech than I am. <laughs> hmm. Say what? You know. Thank God. Oh. Yep. I actually get double <laughs> points when I say it, since I'm a minister. <laughs> <laughs> The points get you into heaven. That's that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where are the guys? I look around and spot Hugo and Damien, who seem to have just arrived in the gallery. Good eve, good eve, good eve. Oh. Evening, friends. Oh. Who's ready for some art? You must be having a heck of a time with all three voices. Yeah, there's three of the ones that I've not quite nailed down yet. Or at least Hugo and Damien are closer together than I thought, and so I'm having some trouble. We'll get there. <laughs> You'll manage. Yeah. <laughs> Art is dead and nothing is real. I'm... Yeah. I have no idea what I'm in for. I have some idea. But... Liam doesn't. Hmm. We technically did both spend a single semester as art students in university. Technically true. And so I've got like a, a tiny inkling... Mm. Tiny. I don't know how much more understanding I came out of there with. Well, I have been to art galleries. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, same. Hey! All you have to know is that if you're ever feeling overwhelmed, there's generally always a table that has free wine and cheese. <laughs> Ooh, I like art now. I've got the table in my sights. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go help myself to some tiny wines. Hmm. What do we do? Let's... I mean, 
dance with the one who brought you. That's true. They invited us. Let's talk art with Hugo and Damien. So, what's this first place? First place? What? Hmm. This particular artist oh. specializes in landscape painting of various locales within the American Northeast. Did that say place or piece? Did I misread it? It didn't it? say place. I'd... Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if it was a typo or what, but uh... No worries. Hmm. I look at the art. It is rad art. At the risk of sounding uninformed, do all of these landscapes look like butts to you guys? Ah. <laughs> Damien and Hugo lean in, examining the paintings in earnest. Oh. It would appear as if you are correct. Hmm. Valid assessment, Liam. Hey, this art stuff's pretty easy. Ah. Oh, it gets more complicated. Oh. Sometimes the butts are more symbolic. Sometimes the butts are metaphors. Sometimes art is about the butts they don't draw. Hmm. Interesting. Joseph returns to our group with tiny cheese and wine. What did I miss? Butts. Oh. Butts. Oh. <laughs> Shame. The cheese is nice, though. Hmm. Shall we visit the next place? Maybe I don't know about galleries. Maybe each painting is called a place. Yeah, maybe they're... Maybe just I'm museums are just full of places and we didn't know. I mean, that's how that's how that one Mario game is, right? Just full of places. You know, it's a fine point. You walk into a painting and suddenly you're in a place. Maybe I've been doing art galleries wrong this whole time. Huh. Are we supposed to walk into the paintings? Should have played more Mario 64. <laughs> we leave the first art gallery and walk a few minutes before we reach another one. This gallery is a bit more crowded. Huge paintings of... I'm not even sure. Hanging on the walls. I get it now. It's an art walk. I have been on one of those. A couple of those. Oh, we're doing an art walk. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why that didn't click with me sooner. Yeah, I thought we were at a museum thing. But it, yeah, like that we're doing I an think, art walk from place to place. Okay. I think maybe because the spaces they're showing us on screen do not, in fact, look like bars and coffee shops right. and bookstores. Which is what I'm used to seeing. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe like, outside of Seattle, art walks don't go to quite as many coffee shops and bars. I don't, I don't know. Okay, fair. Anyway, none of the gallery spaces I have been to look like this. Mm. Uh. Oh. Oh, geez. What am I looking at here? Oh. This is abstract art. I think the more important question is, what does this art mean to you? I stare at the painting, concentrating as hard as I can on its meaning. A metaphor for the human condition. It reminds me of my childhood. It represents strife, or it's a butt. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to say. I can't see the painting. That's true. I can't make a... I feel like we should see the painting in order to make a judgment. Yeah. I'm having a hard time here. I don't know what it is. What should I do? Which one do I go with? Mm. I mean... Some help you are. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like the fourth one is really the only one <laughs> to do. Okay. It's a butt. Mm. Everyone else stares at the painting. Yeah, that's definitely a butt. <laughs> I... <laughs> ah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> While a valid assessment, I feel the artist was trying to make a different statement. <laughs> Probably how much he liked butts. <laughs> you are a servant of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> We're all God's creatures, even butts. Oh. Comparing this piece to the artist's body of work, I'm pretty sure this represents the sense of isolation he feels creating traditional abstract artwork in a field that's rapidly moving towards digitization. Comparing this piece to the artist's body of work, I think it's probably the butt of his body of work. Eh. Wow. How do you figure that? Ah. That's what it says on the placard. <laughs> oh. Ah. Let's look at a few more of these. We walk around the gallery, sampling some more of the artist's work. I almost hate to say it, but abstract art is kind of growing on me. 
it's interesting that the artist chooses not to let their work be defined by... What's the word? Realism? Realism. As we're looking at one of the paintings, a patron scoffs loudly. Psh, I could do that. Oh. Excuse me. Ah. Hugo, not here. <laughs> no, come back here. <laughs> the teacher mode is on. <laughs> yep. The patron walks away, not noticing Hugo fuming right next to him. Hmm. You say you could do that, but you didn't. You don't seem to have the intellectual depth or the artistic skill to execute a piece even a fraction as impressive as this one. I'm not angry. Art is the I'm truest expression of the self, and it seems like your self is so bad, your art would be bad. Hugo's insult <laughs> game isn't the best, but there's no denying his passion. Damien is holding him back at this point. Hmm. Friend, friend, he's not worth it. Uh. Hugo manages to cool down. He smooths his jacket. Uh. I'm sorry. I just love art very much. We know, buddy. I pat Hugo on the shoulder. Oh. You know what would ease the mood? Is it cheese? No. Ah. It's wine and cheese. <laughs> mm. Co-signed. The four of us head over to the wine and cheese table, which thankfully is grounded in realism and is actually a wine and cheese. <laughs> Hey. We got one last stop on the tour. You lot feeling up for it? Is it going to be any weirder than this art? It is absolutely weirder than this art. Is it Damien's? Let's do it. Is it Damien's? It might be Damien's. It's probably not Damien's, huh? but I wish it was. Damien, Hugo, Joseph, and I walk over to a performance in the street. Several masked performers in leotards undulate wildly on the ground, screaming both at each other and us. This doesn't seem like it's Damien's. Mm. Oh. So, quick question. Oh. Shoot. What is happening? Uh, I second this question. I don't see how this one is butts. Oh. Performance art. What does it mean? Ah. Again, I pose the very same question to you, Mr. Floyd. Oh, that's a weird thing to be called. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> they really like screaming. <laughs> hmm. These are all actually pretty good. Fear of existence yeah. is very good. I think, given the very little context that we've got, I would go with the very humanity of being human. Or with butts for the humor of it. Well, shall it be butts or humanity? Let's keep the real up question. The jokes. Okay, butts it I'm is. I'm good with that. What do you think they're trying to say? I believe it's less about what they're saying and more about why they're saying it. I think there's something special about performance art. With almost every other form of art, music, painting, and photography, the artist uses their medium as a conduit for their emotions. Oh. With performance art, the medium is the artist. It's the purest expression of raw human emotion. It's art as catharsis. <sighs> That's beautiful, Damien. I'm not sure I entirely agree. I mean, that means... That that implies weird things about acting to me. Mm. It's not that they're the same. It's not that acting and performance art are the same. But I don't know. I don't know. That's an interesting perspective that I wouldn't mind having coffee and listening to Damien expound on more. <laughs> so what you're saying is, oh. if I start making really loud fart noises right now, it's art as long as I, like, really mean it. <laughs> Damien fixes him with a hard stare. Hey. <laughs> I was going to start making fart noises, but based on the look on your face, that joke isn't going to play well with this crowd. Hey. Oh. Wise. Oh. We watch the rest of the performance as earnestly as we can and clap politely after the dancers scream their way off stage. Oh, I think I'm all arted out. Agreed. We all decide to walk home together. Hmm. Which is a good idea because it would be really awkward if we decided to not walk home together. <laughs> <laughs> We make our way back to the cul-de-sac, tiny wine and tiny cheese sloshing around in my stomach. I think what I've learned tonight, and 
not just what I've learned about art, which was nice and extremely informative, but what I've learned tonight is that when you put a bunch of tiny wine and tiny cheese together, it eventually becomes regular wine and regular cheese, followed by too much wine and too much cheese. Which is wrong, Liam. That's <laughs> not a thing that happens. The tiny cheese lulled me into a false sense of security. I felt safe with the tiny cheese. Wax wings too close to the sun. Hmm? Cheese wings? Those would melt in the sun too, and I feel like it's more appropriate imagery. I was instantly transported to the baby bells. Cheese coated in wax. Hmm. Either part of that would melt in the sun. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Plus, it'd be delicious. Oh, no. I don't know that word. I don't either. A uh, nice amenthaler, possibly? I don't know that I've ever heard or seen that word. Yeah, that is completely new to me. Well, good on you, Liam. Um. I guess I should Google it. Yes, please. Uh, that's my phone. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Let's... I want to move on, but I am physically incapable of moving past this word. I need to know. Okay, so an Emmentaler is a Swiss cheese made from cow's milk containing small holes. Huh. So, Emmentaler. A kind of cheese. Emmentaler. A nice Emmentaler, possibly. <laughs> hey, if you guys were painters, what would you paint? Hmm. I actually dabble in oils. Uh, I mostly paint landscapes. I'm not very good, but it's a nice way to pass the time. Oh. I think I would focus on personal portraits of people in unique professions. Like, for example, luchadors. Hmm. I think I'd paint boats, seascapes, maybe some lighthouses. Mostly boats. Really? Hey! Yeah, I'm surprised you're choosing boats in favor of a long history of religious imagery and artwork. <laughs> what? Boats are cool. Oh. What about you, Liam? Hmm, food artistry. <laughs> Landscapes. <laughs> tasteful nudes of the artist. <laughs> hmm. If I were to paint art, it would probably be landscapes. There you go. Go for I it. I think. Oh. I think I could examine a lot of beautiful imagery and recapture it on canvas. And I'm just kidding. It's going to be butts. Oh. <laughs> Joseph gives me a high five. <laughs> We finally get to the cul-de-sac. Why do they invite us anyway? <laughs> For all the butt jokes. All right, boys. We can be the butt of all the jokes. It's true. That's why. <laughs> yes. All right, boys. Good art. Good art. <laughs> Agreed. Ah. See you guys around? Whether you want to or not. We're all neighbors, after all. I head inside to deal with my inevitable cheese over. Ah. <sighs> Drink plenty of water. Yeah, that does sound like a good... Welcome. It helps with the cheeseovers. Yeah. And the hangovers and just life in general. Now it's time to date. Now it's time to date. And we've only two left to go on a first date with, so who will it be? I guess we've hung with Damien a little bit, so yeah. it could we're, be a Craig we're gonna time. We're going to do Craig dates because Craig dates. Damien date is going to be the last one. Craig rules. Okay, let's go. Woo! Dad of three, business entrepreneur, and fitness enthusiast. Juggling work, family, and fitness is a tough gig, but someone's got to do it. On a Friday night, he's most likely to get one last good cardio session in. If he had one thing to take to a desert island, it would be a box of energy bars. His turn-ons are a sub-six-minute mile. I'm sensing a theme. What did he want to be when he grew up? Beer Pong World's champion. I am sensing that I'm not going to turn Craig on ever. <laughs> a sub-six-minute mile, ha. Huh? Hmm. What's your favorite movie genre? Buddy cop movies forever. That sounds right. His ideal date is scaling a huge dangerous mountain for fun. <laughs> what does he never leave home without? An extra tube of energy gel. That doesn't sound real. It D is. What does he spend a lot of time thinking about? My mile time used to be so good. What happened? Have I peaked? <laughs> <laughs> energy gel is something that you take on marathons. Oh. Or like really long, intense training sessions to, to help keep your eat or yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, what do you apply it like a lotion or is it food? No, <laughs> it's it's nutrient dense. Like ah, okay. It, it's to give you a lot of the things you burn off when you're running, like marathon. 
Okay. Long time running. Need food, need sustenance, <laughs> need water. Get, I'm with you. Okay. <laughs> You're depleting reserves, and this helps to re-energize you. Okay. I don't actually know what's in energy gel. I just... No one does. I've heard of it. Yeah, it's a mystery. Mm-hmm. Let's go message him. Laser disc. Do it once. Do it right. Hmm. Shave with the grain. That's a long load time for a message. It is. Okay, here we go. I wonder what Craig's up to today. I navigate to Craig's dad book page and type out a message. Hey, bro. Or should I say neighbor? Let's catch up like old times. A couple of moments pass before I hear the ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Bro, my man. Let's definitely hang soon. Might be a little different from our old weekend long benders, but it'll still be fun. I think for a moment, this could be a fun opportunity to see my old buddy in his new element. We exchange a couple more messages, and he logs off to prep for the game. The game. The game. I feel like we missed something there. Hmm. I guess we just, just had kinda... a message where we said, Hey, let's hang out sometime. Yeah. Okay, go. Bye. <laughs> right, but now I should see if Amanda wants me to join. Wants to join me. Well... I don't know. I think we're getting invited to the girls. Oh yeah, I bet we are. Game, I bet right? we're getting invited. Yeah, I to assume his that's kids. the game he was. The game that for. they're in uniform for all the time. Right. I walk over to Amanda's room and knock on the door. Yo, Amanda Panda. I open the door and find Amanda sitting cross-legged on the floor, surrounded by magazines and newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece. What you working on? Hmm. Just a collage for class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. I take a closer look at her collage. That's a lot of dogs. Ah. It's mostly dogs, yeah. <laughs> Did you need something? It's mostly dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Craig invited us to a softball game. Wanna go? Ah. Remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you bought me all the gear and then you took me to the first game and then someone hit a ball toward me and I just ran off the field crying? And then you hid in the dugout and would scream if I tried to pick you up? Yes. Um. I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you were a gigantic, sentient <laughs> softball. <laughs> so does that mean you don't want to go? Amanda gets up and looks me dead in the eye. Determined. Ugh. I'm finally ready to face my fears head on. Let's do this. Woo! That's my kid. She's to so the brave. Little League game. <laughs> She's so brave. So brave. Can you believe her? Yes. I mean, <laughs> yes. What? She's facing her fear. I'm so proud of our kid. Good for her. Yes. Amanda and I make the short drive out to the local softball field. For a kid's softball game, it's pretty packed. We're cla we clamber up on the benches and take our seat on the top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. Ugh. Whoa. Ah, slight art glitch there. So when do the kids start crying and running off the field? You know that your relationship with softball is different from everyone else's relationship with softball, right? Okay, but if I don't see some kids cry, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. <laughs> for nostalgia purposes, of course. Not because I take joy out of children fighting for my amusement. Oh. Definitely not that. <laughs> the game starts, and the kids run out on the field. I see Craig by the dugout with a clipboard. He has River strapped over or strapped to his chest, as per usual. There's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. I guess that's the mascot? Pancakes, huh? Pancakes. Reading the kids' brightly colored jerseys, I see that it's the Maple Bay Flapjacks against the Pinewood Ocelots. Go Flapjacks. Go Flapjacks. Flapjacks can totally beat an ocelot. Hmm. <laughs> I know who I would bet on in that <laughs> competition. How, how many Flapjacks would it take to fight oh, an ocelot? Man. Choke up on the bad, Miranda! <laughs> Yeah, Miranda, square up. <laughs> How much do you know about softball? Enough to know that the balls are relatively hard despite their name. Mm -hmm. But yelling's fun. <laughs> Give it a shot, it's cathartic. Q 
Keep your eye on the ball. What's important is that you're having fun. What are you willing to sacrifice to win? <laughs> I think this is the one that will amuse our daughter the most. I think so. Leave it all on the field, Miranda. If you want this, you're going to have to bleed for it. <laughs> Who I assume to be Miranda's father gives me a dirty look. I shoot it back at him. That attitude isn't going to bring Miranda to D1. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Okay. Dad, please don't fight any other dads while we're out here. Oh, I wanted to make our daughter smile, and I made her make that face. That judgy face. I think that's just the dad experience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only doing this so you'll love me more, child. Why can't you tell that? <laughs> She'll tell when she's older. I guess. We watch a couple softball... Mm -hmm. We watch a couple innings of softball. They aren't ready for the major leagues yet, but Craig's trained his team pretty well. It seems like he's really good with kids. Kegstan Craig is good with children. Whoa. Hmm. It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one has run off of the field crying yet. Amanda. Dear, you have to let it go. Hmm. Let what go? I'm perfectly fine. The opposing team is up at bat. They hit a fly ball out of out into center field. The tiny little girl tries to get under the ball, but it misses her glove and hits her straight in the forehead. What? See? It's a completely justifiable fear. <laughs> the girl plops down on the grass and starts crying. Craig makes a beeline to her, checking her forehead and comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her off the field as she sobs. Man, it's strange to think about how this was the guy who once backflipped off of a roof and into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's so responsible now. The game resumes after the little girl calms down a bit, and we watch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in, in the ninth inning. The ocelots seem to have given up by this point. I see one outfielder eating fistfuls of grass. <laughs> A batter on the other team knocks a foul ball into the stands. I follow the trajectory and... Oh no, it's coming right for me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. I close my eyes and brace for impact. You've died. I think so. I open my eyes and look over to see Amanda holding the softball, staring at it in amazement. Ah. I... Caught the ball. You saved me. I caught the ball. Dad, Dad, I caught the ball. You did it, Amanda. I faced my fears. I <gasps> defeated the softball. I can do anything. Amanda and I share a big hug. It's a tender moment that I don't think anyone else watching really understood. I am proud of you, kiddo. And I also am very grateful to not have had myself... To not have been smacked in the face by a softball. Yes, very happy to have not been injured. <laughs> the game ends and Craig's team are declared the victors. We sit patiently as the girls line up to shake hands. Oh. Great job, everyone. We walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig, who's talking with some of the parents. Craig, great work, man. Mm -hmm. Thanks. We've been working hard all season and it's great to see it paying off. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Briar and Hazel? Yeah, we went to yeah. TH your house. Yeah, they're princesses. We're princesses. Hello. Hey, killer playing out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys rule. Thank you. You guys are twins, huh? So which one of you is the evil one? Hazel. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Good looking out. Hmm. Do you guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if I did, it, I'd be doing that constantly. Yeah, I take all of her math tests. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And I usually throw rocks at stuff, and when people get mad, I tell them I'm Briar. <laughs> what? Nice. We'll talk about this later. Hmm. Liam, bro, I just got a couple more things to clean up, then we can hang. Sounds good. Just then, one of the moms jumps into the conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know if I can. Nonsense. The girls won. What sort of celebration could we have without our fearless leader? 
She lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo-goo eyes. Man, this mom is laying it on thick. Amanda and I share a look. Oh. All right, all right. Is it cool if my bro comes along? The mom looks slightly put out, but covers it up with a smile. Of course. Hmm. Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza? What? Oh. What? <laughs> it's a real place. <laughs> 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 Thirsty's Pizza, it Thirsty's is. Thirsty's Pizza. An endless stream of girls clad in softball gear pile out of a minivan and into a local pizza buffet, which sounds like the start of a joke, <laughs> which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Amanda and I trail behind them with Craig. Reminds me of all the awful pizza we put into our bodies back in the day. Oh. Remember how we used to just fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside? Yikes. I'm trying to picture it, but... Processing. Sorry. That's an image that's hard to make. I can make the image. I can't formulate the taste. You can... I can think about... Like, that could almost work. It wouldn't be good. Pizza with, like... Taco meat and lettuce and tomato. And cheese. Maybe. It feels weird. It's the, the lettuce. The, the, the lettuce feels really weird. I'm more... The taco meat's the one that's, like... Like, taco meat with taco meat, like, seasoning and flavors is the one big question mark for me in that whole thing. Oh, I don't man. think I'd try it. <laughs> I feel like there's a binging with Babish on this. Yeah, no, this or seems... Or on something similar. Yeah, this seems like a prime material for a binging with Babish thing. Hmm. In fact, he may have done something similar. He Actually, I feel relatively certain he did. Spaghetti tacos. That's right. That's what he did. That's what I'm remembering. And those did look amazing. They did kind of. I mean, of. not not the... Not the actual version. The, his version his later. His version of it. Sorry, yeah. if you guys haven't watched Binging with Babish before, it's a very good YouTube show in which a guy takes recipes, sometimes very bad looking recipes from movies and TV shows and actually makes them. And It's makes a very popular YouTube delicious. channel. You probably have all heard of it before. But if you haven't, check it out. It's really cool. Yeah. Anyway. Yes, I do remember that. Ah, Pizzacos. I could never forget. Pizzacos is a wonderful name. How did we survive college? Oh. Our bodies were younger back then. More elastic. More able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. Hmm. The good old days. The kids run around playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple of slices of mediocre pizza. Hmm. Hey, give me a piece of that. Huh? No, absolutely not. Hmm? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. Thanks for uh, addressing the issue, Amanda. Hmm? Dad. <laughs> A different mom walks up to us, talking to Craig as if we weren't even there. You want this one? <laughs> I've done a lot of voices today. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. Love it. My daughter tells me every day about how great you are. <laughs> I really like that voice, actually. That's fun. Oh, I'm happy to look after them. Definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's been so hard since Daniel left. Weird. Oh my goodness, Weird. this is creepy. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad to know that my children have a strong male role model in their lives. I have no idea what voice I'm even doing. I don't either, but I like it. It's very good. <laughs> Amanda and I look at each other again. Craig gets it from all angles, huh? Craig smiles sheepishly. Oh. Thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump, and the mom, in what I think is a maneuver to lighten... Oh. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the mom, with in what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone here. Yeah, let's help out. We could create a diversion, we could tag team with Amanda, or we could smokescreen Martha. Amanda would help us out with this. Mm hmm This is the only thing that matters on this list, yeah. I think. Teamwork. I give Amanda another knowing look, and she hits me back with a nod. She understands. Amanda puts a hand to her stomach and looks at me with puppy dog eyes. <sighs> Dad, I don't feel so good. I think I ate too much pizza. Oh no, sweetie. You're not gonna projectile vomit everywhere, are you? 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna projectile vomit everywhere right now. The words projectile vomit and right now usually seem to get everyone to clear out, but Martha's not budging. <laughs> Back it up, Martha. You're in the splash zone. I drank a lot of orange juice this morning and it's feeling pretty acidic. Okay, what was that voice again? <laughs> it's gone already. You'll be fine. Amanda shoots me a worried look. This con is going sideways. I should have known that a mom of all people would know f the fake puke scam. Hmm. Uh, well, I guess it went away and I'm fine now and nothing's wrong. She turns her back on me to talk to Craig. So, I'm taking Hazel and Briar tonight for the sleepover? Hmm. Yep, they're pretty excited about it. You'll keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course, but I could always use help watching after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. Wow, this lady is really going for the gold. Bro. <laughs> It'll actually be nice to have a night to myself and River, but thanks for the invite. Hmm. Uh, Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. Martha angrily turns her attention towards her daughter. Tiffany, not another arcade machine, <laughs> I swear, if we have to buy it! <laughs> Martha storms off towards her kid. Tiffany knows what she likes. <laughs> right? <laughs> she seems nice. Oh. Yeah, the team is one big weird family. Takes all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat the tokens! <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany's a stellar hitter. Oh, I finally think I have time to talk to Craig now. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Mm -hmm. Only on days like today, I hope. Dad! Oh. Hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat our record on DDR? Oh. We told Ariana's dad that you could destroy him on the dance mat. Please help. Oh, man. Girls, you know I don't have my jukes anymore. But dad. Craig looks at me like a hurt puppy. I don't know. Sorry, dudes. Duty calls. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. It's all good, buddy. Craig runs off with his daughters, and I'm left alone with mine. Man, I was really hoping to hang out with Craig more today, but it seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. It definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might be a third wheel here. Ah. There's worse places than an arcade to be left to your own devices. You're right. Wanna drop some coin on pinball? <laughs> you know it. Amanda and I pu pull up to a machine that's feeling pretty hot and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull a decent score and then challenge Amanda to top mine. And immediately she gets multi-ball. Looks like she takes after her father. You're pretty good. Aww. Don't patronize me. Hey, just trying to play a, just trying to pay a compliment. Amanda shushes me. She's in her zen zone. She fights valiantly, racking up points by the millions. She's this close to beating my score, but I feel honored just to be able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? Janet from earlier walks up and leans on the pinball machine. Uh, yeah, we went to college together. <sighs> Please don't lean on my thing. Uh, huh, that's so interesting. So do you know if he's, like, available? Oh, I honestly don't know if I could hmm. say... Seriously, you're gonna make it tilt. <laughs> because it's just... It seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it'd be great if he... Hmm. Lady, I swear to God. <laughs> All of a sudden, a buzzer sounds and the game is over. Janet made the pinball machine tilt. Hey. You stone harpy. What? Aww. I said, I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that'll hurt your feelings. Amanda. Hey! Bro! What's going on? Mm -hmm. Now's our chance. If we don't get out of here now, we are stuck for the rest of the night. I wrangle Amanda and say some quick goodbyes with Craig. We head out of the pizza place. Finally. Amanda promises she'll keep the couch warm for me and heads home. Hmm. Also, good on her. She got angry, and she saw a way to get herself out of the situation. Yeah. That's good going. Our kid is great. Yeah. I love her. 
I love her so much. Way to de-escalate, Amanda. <laughs> Hope you don't mind me bringing you back here, bro. Not at all, dude. It's good to finally get you all to myself for a second. I mean, except for River. Well. <laughs> <laughs> River burps. <laughs> well, almost all to myself. Uh, hold up. Craig walks over to the trunk of his car and pulls out two gloves and a softball. Oh. Up for some catch? This might be less catch and more you throw the ball and me run after it, but sure. We stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth. Hmm. I have a cooler in my car that we could grab, but there's only juice boxes in there. Man, fatherhood is strange. Hmm? You're telling me. I can't believe I'm looking back on my keg stand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those were some good times. I don't know how anyone else... I don't know anyone else who could pull off those rare horizontal keg stands. Hmm? It was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't properly hung out with Craig in so long. I don't even know where to begin. Hmm. We could ask about coaching softball, or about the business, or about the kids. We're tossing the ball now, so let's talk about softball now. There you go. Right? Yeah, sure. Eh, uh, I guess it should have been the kids. Eh. So is softball coach the life you wanted, or was this the life that was thrust upon you? Oh. Huh. I'll admit that I was hesitant at first. Briar and Hazel had so much energy that we just had to get them into sports, but no one was there to run the team. The more I did it, the more I saw how much it meant to all the girls. Really worried there would be a riot if I quit. I would also be afraid of a bunch of tiny children with metal bats. Oh. They're quick, and they work as a team. I've trained them too well. <laughs> They'd take you down like a pack of velociraptors on a T-Rex. Exactly. Eh, let's ask about the kids. Yeah. I can't believe you're a father of three. Hmm. Neither can I. You know me. I'm an indecisive person. You switched your major four times. Oh. Yeah, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. But raising kids, when Briar and Hazel were born, it all finally made sense. It was like all the time I'd spent trying to figure things out led to them. Couldn't be happier about it. I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. I had the exact same feeling when Amanda was born. It was the best thing to ever happen to me. It could be the only thing that ever happened to me, and I would still be proud of the life I've lived. No, wow. I guess let's ask about the business. So, you run a business now? Hey. Yep. We sell fitness gear. Imports and exports mostly, but we're coming up with our own line of ath athleisure wear soon. I nod. I mostly use my sweatpants for watching TV and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like you'd make a killing. Mm. If you ever need athletic gear, I got your back. You could sponsor me. I'll rep your athleisure wear brand while I mow my lawn. Oh. That is the glamorous lifestyle we are catering to, yes. <laughs> it's nice out here. Quiet. Must be good to get away from the softball moms for a bit, huh? I don't know. Christ, Janet. Yeah, that was a lot. Are they always like that? Oh. Actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. Yikes. <laughs> I'm just so not interested. Well, what are you interested in? Oh. Oh. Peace and quiet. <laughs> that hot, hot silence. Hey! My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. <laughs> but more seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's no time. Oh. And I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger into my girls' lives. They've already been through so much. I can't put them through that. Buddy, I hear you. Oh. So the moms can hit on me all they want, but the girls are my top priority. He is doing a good job. The right person will come along eventually. And... Well, hit softballs, don't get hit on my moms. He is doing a really great job. He is doing a really great job. And the right person will come along eventually. But I think he... Hearing that he's doing a great job is probably the, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Those kids really love you. And to add to that, the whole team loves you. I think you got this dad thing down right. Oh. Thanks, bro. Hmm. That means a lot coming from you. While I'm distracted, I miss the softball, and... Ow. It hits me right in the head. 
Amanda, where are you? <laughs> wow, that hurts. Amanda was right all along. Nice. I'm Sorry, gonna sit dude. down and cry. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Ow. Hmm. Are you okay? Oh, Craig runs over to me. I'm sorry, I was meant to read that, not just respond to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Wait, l let me do the dad thing for a second. Craig spends a moment examining my head. Oh, it's worse than I thought. Don't tell me you have to kiss it to make it better. Dude! You would be so lucky. <laughs> that was planned. I mean, <laughs> kissing is for the weak. <laughs> Mm. Hmm. How flirty do you feel? They all feel flirty to me. <laughs> I suppose they all are a little bit. That was planned. Seems like the most casual jokingly, at least. Okay. I'll go with that. You probably don't teach the more advanced techniques to the little leaguers, but Babe Ruth used to catch balls with his teeth all the time. <laughs> I still got it. Oh. Huh. Maybe they'll learn in high school. I get up and dust myself off. River yawns. Hmm. Hey, little buddy. You must be getting tired, huh? Look at her. She's so cute. Yep. Oh. Doze. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I should probably head out. Sorry things are so... You get older and life just kind of gets in the way, huh? We start walking back to the parking lot. Hey, remember that one house party we went to that got broken up by a helicopter? Hey! How can I forget? You and me hopped over a concrete wall to get away. But the other side of the fence was a parking lot where a bunch of cops were parked. Hmm. Oh man, yeah. Could you imagine the look on our faces? We just walked straight past them like we were out for a stroll. And not knowing that we were at the party, they started joking with us about how big of a bust it was. <laughs> we had to talk with them for 30 minutes. He told them you were interested in joining the academy. Hey! And then they started giving me pointers for the exam. Longest 30 minutes of my life. Man. College. Hmm. Good old days, right? We get back into our cars. Craig pulls me into a hug. Or at least as much as we can manage with a baby between us. Nice. Never enough time, huh? I guess that was we get back to our cars, not in them. Eh. Whoops. Guess not. Oh. Uh, let me make it up to you. Let's hang soon, yeah? I'd like that. It's a good Craig. It is a good Craig. He's a real good buddy. Yeah. And I really hope he finds someone who can fit with his schedule when things get a little bit less hectic in his life. Yeah. I yawn as I walk through the door, spotting Amanda hunched over her collage, glue stick in hand. Burning the midnight art oil? Figured I might do something productive between episodes of Shark Hunter lip sync battles. <laughs> do the sharks lip sync or do the sharp hu shark hunters lip sync? Ah. Uh. Yes. <laughs> I look over her shoulder at the collage. Amanda, this is some good art. Look at this good art you've made. Thanks. I'm just about done. Like before, it's still a lot of dogs. In one corner is a giant pile of cash. In the other, it's... Amanda, is that me? Hmm? Yep. The whole thing is about my goals for the future, and those are basically just to sit on a giant pile of money with my 20 dogs, and also have a strong and mutually supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. I'm Good sorry. goals. <laughs> I'm dead now. Oh, no. It's a lot of dogs to go with a lot of money. No. She... Our... Our 18-year-old daughter wants to have a strong and mutually supportive relationship with us until adulthood. It is pretty good. Into adulthood. Like, I'm so touched. Yeah. Oh, now you've done it. Get ready to watch your dad cry. Here it comes. It's happening. Oh, no. Oh, dad. You did this. With your good art. <laughs> she pats me on the back. Mm -hmm. Hey, how was your hang with Craig? I wipe tears from my eyes. It was good. That Craig guy sure is busy. Mm. Yeah, dude. That softball life isn't for quitters. Also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears today. How does it feel? I'm on top of the world, Pops. I should start facing my fears more often. Yes, you should. 
You can do it, kiddo. Oh, yeah? How about tomorrow we hit some empty parking lots and practice, dare I say, parallel parking? Ah. Baby steps, Dad. I'll work my way up to it. All right. I'm going to hit the hay. Take care of late night television for me, all right? I'll let him know you said hey. <laughs> never give up, never remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. That is really good. How did we do, though? I'm curious. I don't think we did great. After I don't that think B we score we got with Matt. A. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. That's kind of what I thought. Not an S rank, but not as bad as we did with Matt. High thirsty score, though. High thirsty score. <laughs> And low respect. Whoa. Beat not only by our marinara scores. Right. I'm starting to think these are some silly scores here. I think they might be. <laughs> Metrics are important. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching and for joining us on these dates. On our lovely dad dates. Next week, we will date Damien for the first time. Yeah. And I'm just going to assume there will be some random encounter that pops up. Because Probably. there has been every other show so far yeah pretty much i'm amazed by how many there are and also delighted so yep. more of those next time thank you all very much for watching we'll see you next time goodbye, goodbye.